All right, YouTube, it is Mr. Mean coming at you this fine Sunday afternoon. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, this will be uploaded to Mr. Mean Paints. This is my painting video. Um, I've been using the slap chop method or the uh, uh, razzle dazzle, as one of the guys calls it. Uh, he's a British guy on YouTube. I've been watching his videos, and it's where I found out about this slap chop with speed paints. I was down in the cities uh, two weeks ago, and I ran across the Army Painter speed paints, and I thought, wow, let me pick these up. Uh, you know, I'm always looking for a better way to paint miniatures. I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy painting miniatures, but I, I don't have a lot of time to paint. And so um, this supposedly this slap chop me method uh, was supposed to increase your time, you know, uh, decrease your time in painting miniatures and make it just enjoyable and, and more fun. And I, I do enjoy painting miniatures, but the problem is, you know, I have a very confined space. As you can see, I have this tiny little desk here to paint on. Um, you know, and I have to set up my airbrush and I have to set up the vent and everything. The vent that's behind me, you can kind of see it down there on the, on the floor. I think I just moved in front of it. Hey, yeah, it's, it's right here with that little top. Instead of having the hose that goes out to the window and vents outside, because I don't spray paint that much, I just put some heavy duty, uh, paper towel over it and, uh, put a pipe clamp on it and <laughs> called it done. So... Um, but I gotta set all that up. I gotta clear off this table uh, of whatever I'm, what else I'm working on. I have very little room, and it's just it's the nature of the beast. And and you know you you have to do you have to work within your confines of whatever it is that you have. So that's what I do. And so, uh, but lately, like I said, I painted um, some uh, dire uh, wolves, which I've posted and everything, and uh, those came out really great, and I was super impressed. So. It's a very rainy, drizzly, windy day here in northern Duluth, uh, Minnesota, and so uh, we didn't want to go outside and do anything. So we ran a couple, I ran a couple errands this morning and got things done, and then I decided to paint a miniature, and it literally took me, I want to say, under an hour to paint this here skeleton uh, that you see right here. Um, oh, I've got my mouse hidden. <laughs> okay. So the skeleton at the top of the screen there, you can see I, I painted that. And uh, let's see if I click now, but it's going to just cover me up. So my, my ugly mug is in the way. So uh, basically what you do if you're not aware of this um, slap chop method, it works really well with contrast paints, uh, green stuffs, uh, fast paints, or army paint, or whatever speed type paint you have. Um, I, like I said, I bought the, uh, army painter paints. Um, they were pretty cheap and I got a nice little discount. So it was a win-win. I was just at my local game store this morning and saw that they have the full range of the army painter paints now, and they have all the airbrush paints. So that's really nice because normally I would have to order this stuff off of Amazon or I would have to go down to the studios. So today's, uh, video is just going to be a quick little, uh, showing you the basic proper process. Now I don't have my secondary camera hooked up and the arm hooked up because I just don't think with the setup that I have it's going to work yet to actually do live streaming video painting. But uh, this would have been a perfect one to do it. But what I did do is in between all the steps I took pictures um, on my Samsung Galaxy S23 uh, Plus. Uh, and so hopefully the pictures look good and the quality is okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink me down here put me down in the corner oops keep that where it is get there we go bear with me I'm gonna shrink me down so that when I double oh, when I double click on these it'll kind of give you a little bit better it'll give you a little bit better there we go there we go. All right. So what, uh, oops, I can't get my shit together here. So this is the skeleton. I bought it off. Actually, we can scroll up here. Um, these are the sky legions of, uh, legions of death, undead soldier, skeleton, 28 millimeter Etsy. I bought these off of Etsy. That's the link right there. You can pause this. I'll try to remember to put it down in the show notes. Um, but these are, the, there's three different variations. I obviously bought the guy in the back, right? Well, you can't see him, but he's the guy in the far, as you're looking at it, be your far left. 
um, with this sword hanging out. And uh, I really like the look of it. I should have bought all three because they are awesome. But uh, I, I do mostly role-playing games, and so these are miniatures that I will use in my role-playing games. So here's the, the, the basic uh, skeleton that I just uh, primered. I spray-painted him with my airbrush uh, black, uh, just a, a generic... Um, Oh, God, I can't think of the name. What is it? Uh, Liquitex. Liquitex paints uh, black. And boom, he came out really nice. So I, and I, and some of these I have extra photos, some I don't. So then uh, I go down, and then here is a light gray uh, primer, just kind of a zenithal done from the top, uh, you know, on where the areas are, are lighted the most, where the light would be hitting it. Um, so I did that with a, a light gray from Army Painter. Um, actually, no, I lie. It was a master series from um, uh, Reaper. Uh, uh, Dirty Bone, I believe, is what I used from Reaper. Um, I have a bunch of different paints. So as you can see, not the greatest picture um, and like I said when I get the camera set up it'll be a lot better um, then um, I did a dry brush of just basic white give it a heavy dry brush everywhere I think this is another picture of the dirty bone uh, he has a huge seal shield um, and let's see which is this one yeah I think that's just it with the dry brush the the, the zenithal on there so again not the greatest picture and then what I did is I came in with High Lord Blue, uh, just to paint all of his uh, his wrappings because he does. It's not like he's. I didn't want to make everything leather, and of course with your Army Painter uh, speed paints, you're kind of limited on your color palette because there's only I think I have ten paints. So I thought uh, this would be a you know I I use the wood for the wood there but I eventually do go in and paint some of these straps uh the brown as well and you see it gave a nice kind of splotchy kind of makes it look like wood a little bit to me and I liked it and it came with a pre-textured base so this is one solid miniature um and uh like I said I really like the look of it so um I coated it in the blue there and you can just see this is the back side of it as well and, and I got a little bit on the leather straps here but I like I said this is just a see how fast I could paint this that's all and I painted the shield silver I painted his pauldrons and stuff and his uh, van braces silver uh, and I was happy with it uh, like I said I wasn't going for a I'm just going for a tabletop standard so here's where I use the leather again the wood um, I, and I, actually, I think I used the different color. Uh, it's, it's hardened leather. Um, I used hardened leather on that. Um, and you can see a little bit different from the other brown color. Uh, or I just, I don't think I went over it. You can see I got a little bit of blue, a uh, little bit of blue there. But it still, it came out okay. Um, and just a, I could have painted all, you can see there's some extra straps and stuff. I, I could have went nut with, nut with, nuts with this if I wanted to. But uh, again, it was just to see how I could slap some paint on how fast I could get it to the table. Um, so, and of course, you got to let this stuff dry. And that was the hardest part. And here's the green. Uh, this is orc skin is what I used. Uh, and so that's orc skin. Now... There is a, it looks a little heavier and dark than what it really is. That's because I painted this silver and then I realized on the back side, I was thinking it was a metal shield. Uh, but remember I painted the other side of the shield wood and you can see wood texture on it. So I was like, I kind of goofed. So I thought, well, I'll just make it, you know, it's, it's been painted green. Uh, and it came out okay. I was happy with it. Um, and then I did the bone, bone colors uh, for his hand. Really, the only two pieces of exposed bone he has is that hand and his skull and a little bit of his neck. And again, came out really well. You can see I colored in the all the straps with the same brown. Uh, worked really well. Um, and this is the backside of all of his straps and everything. So again, looks really well. And like I said, there's a ton of wraps and stuff on here. If you wanted to pick this out 
and paint it. It could have, uh, you, you could do that. And I think it's, it's a really good looking miniature if you wanted to spend a whole lot of time, you know, painting all those wraps and straps and everything, you could go nuts on this and uh, get a really good uh, field of depth. I was particularly impressed, all of the, the bases right there is just dry brush. That's a little bit of uh, the gray, the stone gray from Reaper, and then a little bit of white, uh, pure white from uh, Vallejo. Uh, you know, and I just dry brushed it, and it, but it came out really great. So that's just a quality of the casting of the miniature to whoever printed this. Um, it came out really good. And then um, you can see that's pretty much the finished product, and then I have a little video there. Um, let's see. I don't. And this is the finished mini. I don't have one of those spinny things, so hopefully this does it justice. Yeah. And you can hear my wife talking in the background, so we'll end it there. But you can see, um, for a tabletop quality, um, it, it's pretty solid. I mean, it's oh. not. Uh, badly done at all uh and literally this took less than an hour i i, I want to say maybe even 45 minutes um i was able and that's just the pure time of putting paint down i did in between um the uh in between these two steps uh once i got all of the blue down uh i'm sorry the blue and the uh and the brown so this stage right here once i got the base colors down um i went outside and i gave it a, a quick uh matte coat of uh army painter matte clear coat um, and that was just to keep the colors from running because one of the things that um, will happen with this even if you let it from what i understand i haven't tested this but um, you can see there's a little bit of blue right there as i was painting the leather straps that it overlapped and it ran um, I don't think that was me being a fat finger heavy with the brush. I think, and there's a, you can see a little bleed right here. Uh, it actually bled into it because it reactivated because it got wet from the other army painter. Whatever medium is inside this paint takes quite a while to dry, um, which is fine. Uh, but if you get it, you know, where the surface is dry and then you just hit it with a matte medium coat, then you're fine. Um, and it comes out pretty well. As you can see, I'm pretty happy with this that you can see some colors recessed in there and like i said the base i didn't do anything to the base i literally just dry brushed it and the base looks perfect um and i believe that this will set inside of like a uh, weird uh malifaux base 28 millimeter base um i think it might set just fine so i don't even have to paint the base if i don't want to i could um but we'll see i haven't i mean again i painted this just for the sheer joy of painting it um, and like I said, I'm very happy with it. So um, I thought it, it it came out really well. And I'll probably use this picture right here for the uh, cover photo for the YouTube channel. But that's the slap chop method or the razzle dazzle as uh, the miniature painter, painter calls it. I think he's called the miniaturist painter. He's a British guy, older gentleman, and he's just a riot to watch because he loves orcs. I have a fondness for orcs as well. And I believe my buddy Mike is going to be sending me some orcs to paint up as well. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, and orcs are typically in my fantasy games or, or the uh, bad guys. So it'll work out well. Or if I run uh, like the dark guy, I can use GW's orcs. Um, I don't buy GW's miniatures because I think they're stupidly overpriced for what you get. Um, I think this guy cost me like, I want to say five bucks uh, off of, uh, <clears throat> off of uh, Etsy. So totally worth the cost, um, really well done. Uh, I got a couple, I got another, the next thing that'll be coming up in the paint queue uh, is um, this guy right here. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, this is, I got it from the same site. Um, he's broken, you can see the butt of his ax is broken. He should have a longer ax handle. And then he had a, another ax in the other hand, but it broke as well. But there's a decent amount of detail on here. Um, I think this is going to paint up really well. It came with a nice resin base, as you can see right here. So this is the full color of the miniature. Um, and then, of course, I gave it a nice uh, black coat. And then I'll give it a Zenithal highlight. Um, and 
Don't feel that you have to use an airbrush or a rattle can to do a Zenithal highlight. You can do it with a paintbrush. Just takes a little attention to detail and just go where you think the light's gonna hit it and just give it a couple dry brushes. I did buy, um, I saw a bunch of people, um, I bought these e.l.f. makeup brushes and I have to say, worked phenomenal. I uh, dry brushed all that Zenithal and the gray on the skeleton miniature uh, with that brush and it looked amazing. In fact, the brush is right here. So it's a nice silver brush. They make pink ones. I mean, you can get whatever color you want. These are makeup brushes. They're e.l.f. I don't know what E.L.F. stands for. Uh, Smoky Eye is is the uh, is the brush there. The set is called Smoky Eye, um, and it's Elf, and it comes with all these brushes. And I was just at the game store. I looked at the three brush set from Army Painter, which is probably one of the cheapest uh, versions of these brushes that you can buy in the miniature hobby realm. I mean, there's Artist Opus, which his three brush sets a hundred. I think it's over a hundred bucks. Granted, it does come in a nice wooden case, and I think he'll put your channel emblem or whatever logo you want on it or your name or whatever. But still, it's over 100 bucks for a balsa wood case with three brushes and a little uh, palette in it. So this was 12 bucks at Target, and I've got a whole bunch of different... i got tiny little dry brushes. i got a big one, I'm, you know, and I just cleaned this with a little, a little water. That's all I did. Um, Uncle Adam's channel, a uh, big shout out to him. He's also up here. I think he's in Wisconsin. He might be in Minnesota. But uh, Uncle Adam uh, is obviously a huge YouTuber. He's been doing this for a long time. He's awesome. I watch his channel quite a bit. And uh, he has a nice video on how to clean these. And it's basically just a little bit of water. Uh, try not to get the paint all the way up to the ferrule. This is this metal crimp part right here. Don't get paint up into there. And when you're dry brushing, you shouldn't have to. You just need you know paint on the very tip. You know, wipe it off on a paper towel until you get in. And what I did is I just hit my thumb and saw how it was covering. And I went, that's perfect. That's what I want. And then I went and dry brushed a miniature. The bristles are nice and soft. Um, and they hold paint really well, the acrylic paints. Um, and yeah, so you don't even have to use any soap brush cleaner to clean this. Just some water, you know, wish it in there really good. And then wipe it off on a paper towel until you don't see any more paint or wipe it off on your hand. That's what I did until I didn't see any more paint came off and then I gave it one more little wash in the water and then I dried it real good and I set it up and I painted this morning over two hours ago and the paintbrush looks fine. So, and I've got four more brushes to play with. Um, so, a big shout out to uh, to Target for uh, saving that. And that was $12 for, that four, for those four brushes at the game store uh, just a couple of minutes ago I was there and a three brush scent from Army Painter, which granted they're round, they're thick, they're short bristles, they're really nice, uh, is was twenty two dollars, twenty one ninety nine. So obviously I paid less, I paid half, and I got just I think I feel just as good a quality and just as nice of a brush, uh, and it's going to hold up for a long time. Now I haven't used any of those real nice brushes, but I will say uh, the Army Painter brushes have held up quite well. Um, I do have their zero zero brush, which I use for very fine detail. Uh, I have two of them because uh, I mangled one of mine, and now I'm I'm probably gonna throw it away. I bent it, I pushed it, and it got the bristles got bent. And once those bristles get bent, you can't really straighten them out, at least not that I'm aware of. So guys, that's it. Speed paints to me are a hit. Try them out. I highly recommend them. I painted that skeleton. It would have taken me at least four hours to paint that uh, if I was painting it with regular water-based acrylic paints, you know, like my Army Painter set. Um, I do have the Duncan Rhodes paint set coming here probably by the end of the month or early next month, uh, where, it, what, where it's October 16th. So they said shipping the, the, the stuff got to their distribution warehouse in Baltimore, I think it is, they said. Um, so those should be coming out. Hopefully pretty soon. Um, pardon me, I've got a wild hair. I'm going somewhere. Um, so very excited, very happy. Do want to get some more painting to the channel. If you guys enjoyed this, as always, like and subscribe. Hit that thumb. Really hit that bell to be notified. It really affects YouTube's algorithms. 
uh, and we'll get the channel a little more recognition. Um, and you'll be notified as soon as I post a new video. I do have some separate channels. I have Mr. Mean Speaks, which is uh, Musings of a Misanthrope on RPGs. And then I have, of course, this one, Mr. Mean Paints. And then I have Mr. Mean Plays which is my video game channel where I stream Star Wars or whatever game at the time catches my fancy. I haven't done too much with that lately uh, just because there's only so many hours in a day and I've really been focusing on getting the painting stuff go going um, and I'm pretty happy with how everything's coming out so far. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, like and subscribe. Uh, if you got friends that are painters, turn them onto the video. If you've got any hints, tips, or tricks, put them down in the doobly-doo. I'd love to hear them. Uh, I try to respond to every video and um, support me on Patreon, five bucks a month, uh, get you in the drawing. Uh, this this quarter's winner was Blade, so he's got a $25 gift certificate coming to him to, from Drive Through RPG. He lives in uh, Portugal or Spain, I can't remember exactly where he's at, uh, but I know he's overseas and I did look to see how much it would cost to send him some books and it was redonkulously expensive, so I do spend that out of my own pocket to send that out to subscribers he is a patreon subscriber so i will get him a he'll get a code and email here shortly for a 25 dollar gift certificate to drive through rpg i do that about every two to three months uh, maybe once a quarter uh, uh, as a, just a thank you to say to everybody for supporting me via Patreon because it allows these videos and allows me to keep food on the table for my wife and my child and myself uh, hit us up on Discord. Uh, we have a very thriving, active Discord channel, and uh, it's, it's pretty jumping, and we talk about everything there. So if you're a miniature painter and you want to talk miniatures, go over there and go. The art is the mini is the channel for that. If you're a tabletop guy, go to Let's Talk About RPGs. If you want to post and look for games or whatever, we have a, a To Find a Game channel. Uh, we also have a PC or console game channel. It's called That PC or Console. Um, and yeah, and then publisher announcements. If you are in the industry, you are a published game designer or publisher, uh, join the channel. Let me know. Uh, as long as I can verify your work, I will give you the role of publisher and you will be able to post in the uh, publisher announcement so you can uh, pimp your wares. Uh, it's just another avenue for you to advertise. I don't require you to be a Patreon member. Uh, it would be nice if you were, but it's just there to give the little guy a little an extra voice in the community to say, hey, come look at my stuff. So guys, again, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, there's another video coming because while I was at the game store, I got something. Is it miniature related? Is it tabletop RPG related? You'll have to watch and find out. I'll be posting that video next. So I hope everyone has a great day. Stay warm, stay dry. Peace and hair grease. And remember, as always, be nice.